say your name and your job position, please? Uh, Alan Beveridge. I'm a retired consultant psychiatrist. Initially, psychiatry uh, took place in psychiatric hospitals in the 19th century, and then outpatient clinics came in in the 20th century. A popular uh, kind of take uh, on uh, psychiatry, history of psychiatry, is kind of gothic one of these f uh, forbidding asylums in the middle of nowhere, and uh, where people are admitted and never get out. But you know, I actually did studies on uh, Strathedon Hospital and Royal Edinburgh Hospital, and people. Uh, had similar conditions to nowadays and they did get discharged if they got better, depending on their condition. So there's lots of uh, mythology uh, you know, about uh, psychiatric hospitals and it's still part of popular culture. Quite often if there's a, a psychiatric institution in a film, it's this gothic uh, thing. And I remember uh, when I started psychiatry, uh, Scottish Television were making a film about ECT uh, and they filmed Strathedon, uh, and they, they managed to get lightning coming down the Strathedon Hospital. So they, they came in with their set ideas that this is a terrible treatment we're in, this forbidding asylum with lightning coming, you know. Uh, so you know, a, a lot of people made up their minds, you know, beforehand, whereas ECT can be very effective for people who are severely depressed, you know, it can be life-saving. Although the mythology of it is bound up with Jack Nicholson and once over the cookies nest and uh, that kind of thing. So uh, it, it's quite hard to fight against a, a lot of the cultural myths uh, uh, about psychiatry and mental illness.